Next on line, I wish I saw it. Rinjin Garcia has been working at Shake Shack in the meatpacking district for just about a year. It was it a single or double? Uh, single, please. In Midtown, Peronki Wade is doing an internship with Lloyd's Bank. I'm going to extend it to one and two. Okay. I'm going to keep the changes. Right. The 28 year old has a bachelor's degree in computer science, and his job is to troubleshoot problems with the bank's computers. Yeah, can you run me through what some of these things that it does? Both of these young men are thriving at work, and they are both autistic. So there's two single plane burgers. What I love about working here, especially Shake Shack, is the people, you know, and especially when you get to get involved with them. Shake Shack participates with a program to hire people who are on the spectrum. It's just really important for businesses to learn more about developmental disabilities and removing those barriers and be more inclusive. Rinjin is a valued member of the Shake Shack team. He's always so so much a bundle of joy. He's just so bright, so outgoing. The guests just love him. Enjoy your food. Pianki is also an asset to Lloyd's Bank. Prakash Kirapaharan is mentoring him with his internship. They like to follow same consistent protocol multiple times, which is key uh, when you're troubleshooting um, or resolving yeah, first line okay. technical issues. That maybe somebody else who's not on the spectrum would not be exactly. doing. Exactly. Exactly. And that helps yeah, the bank. Exactly. When you look around this office, do you think to yourself, I would really like a full time job here someday? Absolutely. Pianchi commutes to Midtown from Orange Absolutely. County, taking Metro North. He lives with his family, but he hopes to have his own home one day. Having an internship or a job can help autistic people achieve what we all want in life independence. Working here also helps me to, um, to earn my, earn my own money. That helps me to develop my independence instead of relying on others. It feels good because then you don't you have to rely too much on your mom, your sister and brother. Rinjin and Pianchi learned most of their life and work skills through Birch Family Services. People with disabilities have some of the highest unemployment rates in the country, and so this is an opportunity to give people a chance. We do a lot of work side by side educating the employers about who the individuals are, how they might be successful. The nonprofit teaches just about everything, including cooking. Is that big enough? Uh, it is. How to do laundry. I ain't even have to tell you, you got it. Money management, social interaction, writing a resume, and learning how to take the subway. You got your metro cards? Ajun, go ahead. Perfect. Perfect. I've been going trains after trains after trains. It's like a huge adventure for me. 28-year-old Ajuan Newton and 36-year-old Johnny Ramos are both hoping to have jobs in the future. Currently, Ajuan is a volunteer and helps deliver food to the elderly and homebound. I feel great, empowered, inspired. It makes me want to help people more. And remember Rinjin? Well, he has the most meaningful words of advice. Just keep it going. Don't ever give up. Just be yourself. Look what happened to me. And you can do it too. Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.